The American Bus Association presents Motor Coach Travel News. Here is Dan Ronan. Welcome to the February edition of the American Bus Association's Motor Coach Travel News. I'm Dan Ronan in Washington. As many motor coach companies and tour operators begin planning for the very busy spring and summer travel season, we at the ABA want to make sure you know about a new brochure we've just created with the help from the Bus Industry Safety Council and CIDA, the Student Youth Travel Association. The brochure provides practical, timely information about the key points you should look for when hiring a motor coach company for a trip. And it also explains what your responsibilities are as a tour operator or group leader. In addition, it explains the U.S. Department of Transportation rules for operating a motor coach company. And there's a breakdown of the federal hours of service regulations for drivers. ABA board member Alan Glickman is the president of Star Tours in New Jersey. He was one of the people instrumental in helping design this brochure. I had a conversation with him recently from his office in New Jersey on Skype. We really have a challenge trying to separate for the public size the difference between good carriers and poor carriers. Uh, it, it's been a great challenge and it's hard to get the word out. And we thought this would be a great way to get that word out. And obviously, uh, the piece speaks for itself uh, and really helps the, pub the buying public of charter buses determine what they need to do uh, in their best interest when they hire a motor coach company. Uh, we wanted to highlight what their risks are when they go through the process. We wanted to, hi we wanted to highlight what their opportunities are and we really wanted to educate them uh, through the process. Too many people look first at what the bottom line will be rather than being concerned about the safety, the company's reputation, the, the quality of their drivers, the quality of their equipment? That, that's exactly what the problem is. And certainly that is also magnified as a result of the Internet. Uh, when we get quotes for the inter Internet, uh, we try to respond with some information in addition to the price. But many buyers of the transportation simply, simply look at the price uh, and do not do any uh, examination. Uh, they don't visit the carriers. They don't, they don't check to see what the insurance levels are. Uh, they don't check the safety records. Uh, obviously, they don't even know their own risks, and they make a decision based on price. And when that happens, good carriers, ABA carriers, can lose business to the other second-rate carriers. The brochure, Before You Hire a Motor Coach Company, What You Need to Know, is available free from the ABA. It's sponsored by the Bus Industry Safety Council and CIDA, the voice of student and youth travel. And it's on the ABA's website at buses.org. Go to the link for travelers. Now, coming up next on MTN, there was a lot of business done at the ABA's recently completed marketplace in Charlotte, North Carolina. We'll look back at all the great moments and hear from you why Marketplace is such a fantastic return on your investment. Also, the motor coach industry makes new strides in going green. We'll have the Green Operator segment sponsored by MCI. And coming up next, ABA President and CEO Peter Pantuso joins us. New leadership is coming to the U.S. Department of Transportation. We'll talk with Peter about that. Safety. It's what the Bus Industry Safety Council, BISC, is all about. Top industry professionals working together to discuss best practices and procedures to make sure the owner operators, the drivers, and the motor coaches on our roads and highways are the safest and the best. We take this calling very seriously. And there's room for you and your company to get involved in the BISC. We encourage new owner operators to collaborate, network, and learn with some of the best, most experienced people in the motor coach industry to make your company the safest it can be. Sign up, get involved, help us help you. After an accident is not the time to be obsessed with safety. With BISC, you'll learn how to be safe and stay safe. Go to our website, buses.org. Click on the link for the Bus Industry Safety Council, sponsored by the American Bus Association. There are some very big changes coming up soon at the U.S. Department of Transportation. Longtime Secretary Ray LaHood announced he's leaving the department. The ABA issued a statement thanking the secretary because he's been a good friend to the motor coach industry. Now, new leadership is coming to the DOT. 
And to talk about that and a variety of other things is ABA President and CEO Peter Pantuso. Yeah, Secretary LaHood has announced that he's going to be departing the administration. He's been there for about four years now. He came in during the beginning of the of the first Obama administration, and he's done a great job. You know, he, he is a secretary that, from our perspective in the motor coach industry, has been laser focused on motor coach safety. He put together the Motor Coach Safety Action Plan within months after his arrival. He brought in the stakeholders, ourselves at ABA and others, and, and he wanted to make sure that before he left that we have a safer industry than when he arrived. You know, we've got a great track record as being the safest mode of transportation, but we're going to be even better because of the work of Secretary of the Hood. In just the last 60 days, there have been two very high-profile accidents involving companies operating well beyond the margins of safety and unfortunately with a lot of injuries and deaths. You've had a meeting now with the administrator of the FMCSA. Tell us about that. Yes, we had a recent meeting with FMCSA, their, their administrator, and Farrow, and she is as frustrated as we are about companies that continue to operate illegally and beyond the margins of safety. And the two companies that you point out, you know, one happened right before New Year's, another one happened uh, in February, and those two companies both had fatalities. They were both companies that had a history of operating well beyond the margins of safety. They, they were companies that probably should have been out of business a long time ago. And the administrator made it clear that those are the kinds of companies that are not going to be hiding anywhere, they're not going to be in business, they're not going to be allowed to continue to operate, they're going to crank up their enforcement efforts, and cranking it up doesn't mean looking at the same good companies over and over, it means making a targeted effort to go after those bad companies and put them out of business once and for all. Various studies have shown if you can get these bad companies, these illegal operators off the road, you could cut the number of fatalities by more than 55 percent. That's a pretty big number. That's exactly right. I mean, when we look at the safety record of the, of the industry, by and large, it's a great safety record. But when you look at where fatalities have occurred on board a coach, well over half of them have been by this illegal, immoral, unethical companies that just need to be put out of business. You know, their customers know where they are. Our operators at ABA know where many of them are. Uh, the federal government is beginning to identify and find out where they are. We need to target them, and they need to be put out of business, and, and, and they need to never come back. In the cases of those two companies, one from Mexico and the other from Canada, they were operating across the border, but there are many good companies that do cross-border operations every day, and a meeting is taking place today as we tape about cross-border issues and making it easier to get from the United States into Canada, Mexico, and, and along the border. Well, right. We're having a, uh, a meeting at the American Bus Association offices with our counterparts from Ontario Motor Coach Association, Motor Coach Canada, and some other partners in the travel industry who are very interested in, in expediting travel across the border. You know, the challenge is that you, know, you can book a trip and plan to come into the U.S. to see a hockey game or go shopping or plan to go to Toronto to the, to the theater, and the reality is you don't know how long it's going to take at the border. You, know, you may end up uh, only seeing half of the hockey game because of the delays in coming in or, or half of the show if you're going to Toronto. So working with the, the Border Patrol and protection agencies in the U.S. and in Canada both, making sure that the process is as streamlined as possible is really the goal of this coalition. ABA President and CEO Peter Pantuso joining us on MTN. It's now time for the Green Operator segment, sponsored by Motor Coach Industries. At the ABA's marketplace, MCI announced its Quality at the Source initiative at its Winnipeg and Pembina plants. President and CEO Rick Heller says those changes will significantly increase the reliability of MCI's motor coaches. He says, MCI listen to its customers. In my time with the company, just in talking to the operators, our customers, it became obvious that, you know, MCI's heritage and what they're looking for is really one and the same, which is just make sure our coaches are best in class in terms of reliability. So, you know, we've set a goal to uh, become world class uh, from a reliability standpoint. Keller says MCI is also improving the quality of many of the parts on the coach. It's not only to further the reliability, but also to comply with new and ongoing government environmental regulations. We've upgraded a lot of other components. So overall, the product that we have right here um, is dramatically more reliable than the product we produced just a year and a half or two years ago. New environmental regulations are coming out. So we just have to spend a lot more money and a lot more time keeping up with that to make sure that when it hits the coach, it works the way it should. 
A conversation with MCI President and CEO Rick Heller joining us this month is our guest on the Green Operator segment sponsored by MCI. Now coming up next on MTN. Remember what a great time you had at the ABA's marketplace and the very solid return on your investment? We'll take a look back at the success that was Charlotte and look forward to Nashville. This coach runs on diesel, which is about 30% more efficient in its combustion than gasoline. But I know what you're thinking. Diesel isn't clean burning. But that's no longer true, because today's ultra-low sulfur diesel fuel is cleaner than ever. Check this out. <laughs> See? <laughs> it burns clean. All aboard the green highway. MCI, ultimate curb appeal, uncompromising reliability. Many of you have told us that the ABA's Marketplace 2013 in Charlotte, North Carolina was a great experience. Now we're looking forward to Nashville and we promise it will be bigger than ever. So we're going to take a few moments to look back at Charlotte and look forward to Nashville. The ABA's 2013 Marketplace in Charlotte, North Carolina, January 5th through the 9th. It's the largest travel and tourism show of the year and the premier show in the industry. It was a memorable week for the more than 3,300 ABA members who came to do business. Nothing else comes close to the ABA's marketplace. I am wow. It's amazing to see everybody in one place and be able to meet tour operators. It's very great. The ABA's marketplace is about growing your business. 124,000 face-to-face -face appointments. A vibrant and packed marketplace floor allows you to network and meet other business leaders. Opportunities to learn in education seminars led by professional speakers. I'm a businesswoman, so I wouldn't be here if it didn't mean business for my company, because that's what we're all doing. We're here to bring business back to our companies. Ron McConnell has been coming to the ABA's marketplace since 1979 when the first marketplace was held. Ron says marketplace always delivers. The return is good, you know, in the, in the long of it, especially for a person like myself, when I'm selling a lot of products there that uh, the cost of the association, the cost of me coming here, uh, we get a wonderful return off of that investment, without question. We've worked hard to increase the return on investment for those who attend Marketplace, and also to bring key decision makers from companies, as well as national and state tourism agencies. We're getting out, we're talking to the people who make the decisions on where to bring the visitors, where to bring the guests, and where to bring that economic impact. So we're out of our office and getting out there now to great events like the ABA Marketplace. The ABA knows your time is valuable and you expect a significant return on your investment from Marketplace. That's why we're once again commissioning a survey by the economic consulting firm John Dunham & Associates. In 2012, the return on investment study showed that the ABA's marketplace in Grapevine generated more than $78 million in total economic activity, nearly $60,000 per delegate. And from what you've told us, Charlotte was bigger and better. Well, we've got more than 500 new attendees coming to Marketplace this year. I think that may be one of the highest new attendance levels that we've ever seen. And it's because people realize the value of Marketplace. And what would a Marketplace be without fantastic evening events and entertainment for all attendees? It's very clear World-class entertainment. This is a, a chance for us to say to all these people who own these coaches and tour operators and people who work together in tourism, to thank them for the opportunity to give us to be able to perform. Because after all, that's what we're born to do. And uh, you cannot do it without ABA. So now we look forward to Nashville and the 2014 Marketplace, January 11th through the 15th. The 2014 ABA Marketplace will be held in downtown Nashville in the city's new convention center. And again, like Charlotte and every marketplace going back to 1979, we promise you a great return on your investment, plenty of opportunity for business growth, fantastic entertainment, and ABA's legendary, family-friendly, warm environment. You put your trust in ABA's marketplace, and we thank you. It's very great. That's my first time I've never ever been here. It's amazing. I love it. 
I love the mingling of the people with the people, seeing the, the right people to bring buses and coaches to Branson. They're hearing about the return on value. They know that it's the best show in the industry to do business in, and they're coming here to do it. Thanks for being with us in Charlotte. We look forward to seeing you in downtown Nashville January 11th through the 15th for the ABA's 2014 Marketplace. We can't wait to see you there. Thanks for watching the February edition of the ABA's Motor Coach Travel News. I'm Dan Ronan in Washington. We'll see you back here next month on MTN.